Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 APRU Global Health Conference. My name is Melissa Withers. I'm the director of the program, and I would like to introduce you all to the program. So whether it's your first conference or your 10th or more conference, we're delighted that you're here. And thank you to the University of Hong Kong for organizing this year's event. The APRU Global Health Program is one of the programs of the Association of Pacific Rim Universities, a nonprofit network of 60 universities in the region. The Secretariat is based in Hong Kong and the, the APRU network has been around since 2007. The Global Health Program is housed at USC in Los Angeles, California, USA, which is where I am. In terms of APRU membership, you can see that we have members around the region. And this is the advisory group of the APRU Global Health Program. Our first activity that I would like to update you about um, are the student contests. So every year we have two contests. We have the student poster contest and the virtual global health case competition. Both of these, you will be voting for the winning teams or posters. So the student poster contest had 64 submissions this year from 27 universities in 12 economies. And the case competition had 121 teams from 36 universities in 17 economies. And we will be announcing the winners of these two competitions at the award ceremony on our final day. The next thing I would like to tell you about is the 2022 Virtual Global Health Case Competition. So signups will begin in January for next year's competition. So I hope that you will encourage all of your students to join, or if you are a student, you'll form a team and, um, and participate in this really challenging but fun and educational experience working with your peers to develop an innovative program relating to a pressing global health challenge. Next, I would like to let you know that we are editing a special edition of, the, of a journal um, on mental health care among at-risk populations in the context of COVID-19. We are accepting papers through October of next year. And we do have fee waivers for people who are students or from low or middle income countries. So please consider submitting if that is your area of expertise. Next, I would like to invite you faculty to attend our teaching in virtual environment. We've held, gosh, 15 or more, I think, sessions but the next one is on December 2nd and 3rd. The theme is active learning in large classes. These are really interactive sessions where feel free to stop by um, and talk to your peers and share creative solutions and teaching challenges. Next, we have a monthly health research ethics case study discussion group, a similar model where you'll participate in small breakout room sessions with people from all over the world, both faculty, staff, but also researchers, um, IRB, REC members, and just uh, be able to have an informal conversation about some of the ethical challenges in doing our work. The December 1st or 2nd, depending on where you are in the world, a topic is privacy and the issue of privacy in health research. I also wanted to let you know that we have a number of working groups that you might be interested in participating in. We have the Very Active Bioethics Working Group. 
one on global health education and technology, mental health, NCDs, and we're hoping to develop a new one on nurses. If you're interested in participating in any of these, uh, please let me know. You have the opportunity to collaborate with peers from across the region on things like webinars, small studies, or writing research papers. And I wanted to tell you just a, a couple of examples here of recent papers that were published by our network. So teaching in virtual environments um, is, a, is a one good one. Um, and we have a number of other publications on our website, so please check those out. In addition, we had a really fun uh, and interactive student global climate change simulation program that we did for the first time this year. It had 13 universities from our network, 120 students and 24 expert facilitators who participated in a three day event on climate change and negotiating uh, with um, other teams that were representing countries in a role playing exercise, uh, pretending to be delegates to the UN Climate Change Conference. It was a really wonderful experience for facilitators and students, and we hope to, um, to also do this again next year. So please let me know if you might be interested. Another thing that's ongoing is our two distance education courses. We have two courses offered in the fall. We have 60 to 80, even 90 students in each course. One is on global health ethics. The other is on global health leadership in the real world. We have five to seven universities participate simultaneously for two hours each week for 11 weeks. So again, if you're interested, please let me know. And finally, we had uh, this year, we held two sessions of our mini certificate in health research ethics for students from APRU universities and beyond. And this was a, a training of 12 hours that included live sessions with experts, uh, case study discussions facilitated by experts from around our network. And we had hundreds of students from around the world who got to meet with each other virtually and discuss case studies and learn about how to conduct ethical health research. So again, if you're interested in any of these, I would encourage you to check out our website or to contact me. I look forward to the rest of the conference and thank you once again for joining.